Do you have the new Lenovo Legion Tower? And that CPU fan isn't working for you either? Yeah, it's turning on, but those RGBs don't work like the other one. I've got your fix. So, the thing you're going to want to start by doing is turning off your computer. I know, pretty basic, but somebody's going to have to be told that. So, let's start by shutting this thing down. And then we can start tearing into it. All right. So you don't have to go as far as I have. I've completely disconnected this in the back, but this will just make it easier for demonstration purposes. The only tool you might need, which is a maybe, is a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, that's the only thing you may or may not need, uh, depending on how good your thumbs are. So let's start by turning it to that side. So most of your access is over on this side. However, this secret port is over here. I don't know if this voids your warranty or anything, however, if you come to right here, these two, you can twist off. However, mine from the factory were pretty tight, so I just stuck a Phillips. It even takes a flathead or just some trusty old pliers. They want you to be able to get in there, apparently. That or they just like the look. But you'll just go ahead and remove these screws here. This one, and one down here, and those are two screws. And then this does take a bit of force, but you pull that out and that'll come open. Set this guy aside. And then where we want to come is over here, right there. So let's bring you in a little closer. All right. So where we're looking is right here, this guy. You can say ARGB and CPU fan. This cord simply unplugs and re-plugs here. Be gentle with the needles, they're very fragile. And that's it. Put it all back together and you're set to go. Make sure you align the many tabs on here with the holes here. It'll be a little easier for you to get everything in. I start with the bottom ones, swing in the top, and then again with some force, once everything's in, no, oh, no, come on. We've got to all work together. Might even want a third hand for this one. There we go. Next, we'll get our two screws, put them back in here, and then this lower one. And if you want, you can Work it down like they had it at the factory with your screwdriver. Because you're all done. And we'll press our power button. And we got our first flash. And wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I know you're getting all antsy. You're like, it didn't work. Now they're both off. There she is. There you go. And are you still struggling to get those things to turn on? Do you not know how to do that? Let's figure that out real quick together. You want to start by opening the Lenovo Vantage app. You can do that by hitting the start button and typing in Vantage, and it should suggest this one, and it'll bring you to this page here. If not, you might have to do some setting up. Once you get here, down in the bottom right corner, you got your lighting section where you can tell it one, two, and three. These are all customizable by going into your customize link and we can tell it which one, what each profile does. So if we go in here, we say on ambient light, we can show it as always on. We can change our brightness on there. Or we can even do a fast blink where it just flashes on and off. Slow blink. It kind of turns on and off slowly. And then breathe. I think this is supposed to turn on and off slowly. However, it just does a slow blink. So, you know, whatever you want. Whereas if we go over to the fans themselves and we turn, tell them to do a breathe, we can tell them what color, we'll, we'll say we'll breathe green, and it'll slowly, oh, well, let's turn the other one off for a second here so you can see it. 
A little do kind of a breathing effect. That's kind of cool looking. A flashing green. <laughs> anyway, so those are the options you have there. I like to do just a simple rainbow option here. And internal ambient. I like it always on at the lowest brightness. So I can still look at my, my, my fancy little RAM and video card. You know, just so you can see the little wires and things. But really, it doesn't matter. You can set it up however you want. And you can have multiple profiles for doing different things. So, you know, you want this one like, oh, you know what? I'm a gamer and I videotape myself and they can see my computer. Well, then, you know, this game is this setup. This game is this setup. This game is this setup. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to change profile 3 to a breathe on everything. And then I'm going to turn it green. I like that green one. One's going to breathe slower than the other one. Uh, let's do always on. Turn it real dim. And then change your... Always on. Real dim. Yeah. I like that. I like that one. There we go. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and enjoyable. If you made it all the way to the end, which I doubt most of you will, if you got that first little plug in, like it's that easy, uh, and you guys stuck around after that, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, hit that subscribe. Let me know what other questions you might have around this guy. I'm more than happy to do some research. I don't know a whole ton, but I definitely am not afraid to learn. So we'll see you guys in the next video.